Mired in baseball oblivion for more than 30 years after conspiring to fix the 1919 World Series, the Chicago White Sox baseball franchise reemerged as a competitive team in the 1950s based on pitching speed and defense. The Go-Go Sox of 1959 clinched its first American League pennant in 40 years on the night of September 22nd, 55 years ago, in this game at Cleveland's Mammoth Municipal Stadium before a crowd of over 50,000. Louis Aparicio's double sends Bubba Phillips across the plate for the third inning icebreaker. <laughs> Billy Goodman wraps out another two-bagger to drive in Aparicio and give the pennant-hungry Pale Hose a two-run lead. Burley Chicago starter, 39-year-old future Hall of Famer, early win, held his former Cleveland teammates to two runs. Cleveland loads the bases on three singles. There's only one out. Time for the White Sox ace troubleshooter. Pitcher Jerry Staley is sent to the mound by Lopez. The Sox first pennant in 40 years hangs in the balance. One pitch ends the suspense, sharp fielding, and the Sox turn it into a double play. The White Sox dance off the field with a 4-2 victory and the pennant in the bag. Their first championship since 1919. It's joyful pandemonium in the dressing room, an exultant conclusion to a season of brilliant play by a team that was low rated earlier as a no-hit club. The White Sox came a long way for this celebration.